trying again this is such a hard video to do I'm not entirely sure I'm doing myself justice or if I'm making a pig's ear of it or whatever so I just introduce myself I'm Lumdy Dums my name is Lisa uh, a few of you most of you well that watch this will probably subscribe but I realize this is a video that some people may clip on like click on like my how to do at home in some so I thought I'd do a bit of a hello thing um, as the title suggests this is the truth about how I feel emotionally being a surrogate right now in this moment because it occurred to me in my weekly pregnancy vlogs I've just talked about the pregnancy like how I feel with symptoms blah 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 uh, physically how I feel physically not mentally and I've not broached upon the emotions I haven't said about how I feel about being pregnant, how I feel about the surrogacy as such. I try and answer it in questions if anyone asks me, but I've never really addressed it in a vlog. So I'm trying to do that now. A bit of background for new ones. I am a traditional surrogate or a straight surrogate, which means that genetically the child is related to me. It is my egg. I, however, feel I just sort of donated an egg because it's not my child in my mind. Um, and... Yeah, I'm 18 weeks pregnant, it's a little boy. Just for terminology's sake, IPs are your intended parents, IF is intended father, IM is intended mother. So if I say that, that's what I'm talking about. So the main thing is people say, do you feel like you're attached to this child? Do you, do you feel like you want to keep him? And the short answer is no to both. I don't feel attached to him. Um, it's odd to actually live it but I don't feel like overly strong I feel for him as um I want to protect him I want to look after him for his parents sake for my friends sake but um I don't feel anything towards him like I did my pregnancies I, I don't talk to the bump I don't feel connected really with him it's really strange and I'm very pleased I feel this way naturally but at the same time I'm not entirely sure how to explain it because I'm not sure myself I don't have any urge to keep him. Um, I'm very happy with my family. I'm very complete. Uh, if I won the Euro Millions, I might have another one, but um, I'm not entirely sure even then that I would. I think I'd probably stick to the ones I've got because I'm I'm happy. I'm settled. This this is perfect for me, and I feel very blessed to have the family that I do have. And I'd much rather, if I have limited pregnancies, have babies for other people because I just feel like it's something I can do. So. As I said, I don't feel attached to him. Being genetically related to him doesn't make me feel like his mother in any way, shape or form, which is just how I feel about things. Um, I think a parent is more than just genetics. I think genetics mean something if you want them to, and I respect that. But for me, a parent is the person that raises, loves and cares for that child. So if you adopt a child, I don't think you're any less of a mother or a father than if you genetically had that child. I don't think if you have a child through surrogacy that you're any less of a mother or a father if you raise that child. A parent to me is the person who is there 24 7 because like if I go out with my IPs in the future all our children together go down the park and this little boy when he's grown up and he's like three years old or whatever he runs he falls over and he skins his knee it's not me he's gonna run to to get cuddles and kisses and and sympathy and to magically make everything all better it's gonna be his parents that's who he's gonna run to whether it's the one that's genetically related to them or not he's gonna run to his his parents he's I'm not going to be there. When my children fall over and they hurt themselves, they run to me because I'm their mummy. And being their mummy is the person that deals with all the crap. And I don't mean just literally nappies. I mean the nightmares and, and the sickness and the puke everywhere. We've had a few of those this year with that lovely virus going around. That makes me a mum. Being genetically related to that child doesn't make me a mum. Had I had a child and adopted out years ago, I didn't, unless that happened and I've had my memory wiped. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Um... Excuse us, Niff, then. I don't think that that makes you any less of a mother because you adopt. You are that child's mother. You are there. You are their life, their world, their, their you know, their, their safety net, their everything. That makes you a parent. Whether you're a mother or a father, it's being there, it's being active, that makes a parent. And for me, I'm not going to be there for this child, so he's not mine. If... I had raised a child, not not this one, but if I adopted a child or fostered a child and I loved them and I was there for them, then that is my child. And that, to me, makes you a parent. And I don't know if I'm explaining this right, so I am sorry if I'm not. I talk a lot of poop. Um, but yeah, that's just trying to explain it. For me, that makes you a parent. And I don't think being a surrogate makes me a parent at all. If, I think if I viewed it like that, I shouldn't be a surrogate. If I ever viewed him as mine or felt attached to him, then I would be concerned significantly more so than I am by not being attached to him. 
obviously when push comes to shove, boom boom, when I actually do give birth and hand him over, I at the same time, honestly in the same breath, I realise I'm probably going to bawl my eyes out, which is why I said before I'm going to do daily or every other day, depending on how my life goes, vlogs and be truthful. And if I'm going to sit there snotty, sobbing, swollen faced and just beside myself, I'm going to show that because I want this to be an honest journey. But at the same time, that's going to be my hormones, not my brain. And the, the great thing behind it all, the, the real thing that I think makes a huge difference is that if I changed my mind and got really really broody and I really needed to have an another child and let me just say that I don't think that is ever going to happen obviously I don't I don't think it's going to happen but if on the small chance it could because obviously it could I, I'm not psychic um I can have another child and that's what makes the huge difference I can have children my husband can have children it's not really an issue for us to get pregnant and that makes us extremely blessed because there are millions, and I mean literally millions of people out there that can't have children without going through like more emotional turmoil than I ever will. Not to mention the financial and the, the physical strain they're going through, taking whether it be Clomid or Femira or injectables, and I don't even know what you inject past Gestone and stuff. I've never learned, sorry. Going through all of that and the whole, everything behind it I don't get that and I respect that I don't understand that because I've never needed to do that and I know it within myself that I can do this and I'm able to do this and I am a last resort I'm when IVF hasn't worked I am when the drugs haven't done anything when you've mentally and physically and whatever not financially unfortunately sorry because he's not cheap even though I'm not getting paid you still have expenses so it's not free um I am a last resort and I respect that and I accept that and I know that I'm not a knight in shining armour and I'm not amazing or wonderful or brilliant or one, uh, just all these things that people come out with. I'm not on a pedestal, I'm not better than anyone, I'm not an angel, I swear when people call me an angel I will inwardly vomit. Um, I'm not an angel, I'm a person who is physically and mentally able to do this. That's it. That doesn't make me better than people that aren't able to do it. I don't think that because I can have child, a child for someone else or because I can have children, it doesn't make me any better than someone who can't have a child at all. And it angers me when people act that way. Um, thankfully, there aren't many surrogates who go on about wearing their heart on their sleeve and how wonderful they are. And I'm so amazing. And to be fair, I've come across a few of them and I've not liked any of them. And the brilliant thing is hardly anyone else has liked them either. So I know I'm not alone. Um, but yeah, that that's the thing. It's, it's all the, the whole thing. I think you need to be able to compartmentalise. I can't speak anymore. I'm blaming pregnancy brain and sleep deprivation because, again, my daughter had nightmares last night. That was me being mummy at three o'clock in the morning. Yay. Um, so I don't even know what my point is anymore. And for that, I apologise. And honestly, if you have any questions, please do ask them. I'm sorry if I've raised more questions than I've answered. And I do plan to do this again uh, at like 28 weeks and then 38 weeks. Uh, exactly how I feel being pregnant in that moment is if I've developed an emotional enchantment because at the minute he doesn't move much and everything's kind of easy and as things go on as he starts moving maybe this will change and I will be honest and I will document it and I'm just going to be very raw as I've said in my introduction video it's cheesy as that sounds and very honest and open about how I feel but at this moment I'm still exactly as I was before and I'm extremely pleased to be able to say that I have no attachment to this child I don't feel like he is mine in any Anyway, he is not mine and I don't want to keep him no offense to him I'm sure he's gonna be lovely but I don't want him I don't feel any need to have him or any other child right now except the three I've got they're enough thanks um, so that's it really and I'm sorry I've been a waffling mess and uh, the lighting's a little bit oh but um you secretly love it and I will shut up and I will see you soon. If anyone wants to subscribe that has not subscribed to me, you feel free. That's kind of awesome. But if you don't, you think I'm an annoying hoojima what's it, that's fine too because I actually am. And I'm fine with it. So I will love you and leave you and I'll see most of you, I think, soon. Bye.